The Earth circles the Sun, but this orbit is unstable. Over hundreds of thousands of years, it changes, swinging the planet further out into space and pivoting on its axis. At the furthest point in its orbit, and with the northern hemisphere tilted away from the sun, the Earth cools. 2.4 billion years ago, something turns this natural cooling into a global catastrophe. It is one of the most dangerous things in all the universe. Life. Tiny organisms populate the oceans. There's no oxygen around, and that's the way most of them like it. But then, a new kind of bacteria evolves. Cyanobacteria. And these guys create a serious gas problem. Imagine Earth billions of years ago. There's no oxygen. Everybody's happy. Then, cyanobacteria start making oxygen. It's a toxic pollutant. If there was a regulatory agency at the time, they would have been outlawed. Eventually, they polluted the whole world. They had really precipitated an ecological crisis of global proportions. The great oxygen crisis upsets the greenhouse effect that keeps the planet warm. And with the Earth at its furthest point from the sun, global temperatures plummet. The ultimate culprit is biology. Biology makes a mess of the planet, produces oxygen. The oxygen destroys the greenhouse effect of methane, and that freezes up the Earth. 2.4 billion years ago, ice creeps out from the poles. Instead of warming the planet, sunlight bounces off the ice. Temperatures fall, creating more ice, which bounces more sunlight back into space, and so on and so on, until the cooling becomes unstoppable. The ice marches on. Temperatures plunge to an average of minus 74 degrees. The blue planet turns white. It's a snowball Earth. And incredibly, this may have happened not once, but at least three times over the following billion years as the planet lurched around the sun. But throughout all of this, and against all the odds, a handful of species clung to life thanks to volcanoes. Even in an Earth that was, that was covered almost entirely by ice, volcanoes would have been punching through that. So you'd certainly had pockets of water lying about. Then life was able to carry on and get through these cold periods. And the whole time, the volcanoes that help sustain life have been pumping out carbon dioxide. As this greenhouse gas increases, the atmosphere warms until 640 million years ago, the last great snowball Earth ends. And the survivors emerge into a new world. <laughs> 